<laughs> well, this video is going to be about how we made this futon. It was a lot of work. It took us almost a week. We've got our, our back post there <laughs> and our front post here cut to length already. And then we're going to have a post that's going to be obviously not on the floor, a pyre, and then an armrest. And he did both of those already. Okay. <laughs> I can't do this when you're doing that. <laughs> Okay, and so after we got those positioned properly so that we could get a fairly accurate measurement, we measured between the two top back posts. And then between these down here. Yes, and then between, these are going to go into the little yeah. bottom rung instead of into the post, so that way we can slant it. Yeah, it'll be slanted so like slant that, and it'll go in right here. Right. And then we'll have one that's set back a little bit right here underneath right and then after that we'll put a post a post here and one over there so that, that that means that cross one will be a lot narrower right and this this corner post here isn't actually set going to be where it's going to be set back we just did that so we could get the yeah. measurements because yeah. it'll have i've got to cut these down yeah and put a two inch tenon tenon on each end on each end so that drill my holes. that post the big post right there will actually be up underneath the yes. back even with the edge of the sofa. Yeah, it'll be like right about there. Right there. Yeah. Right there. That's the plan anyway. But like everything else we've done, we've never done this before. <laughs> so who knows if it will work. But we may it may take more than one try to get it to fit. That was a good model, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> hey Vanna. <laughs> oh god. She's been standing five minutes and she's already tired. <laughs> yes. And I'm making my... Hmm. I forget what the... Tendons? Tendons. Tendons? Not tendons. No, no. There's no D. Just tendons. Tenon. That's a hard word for me to remember. <laughs> I have. We're doing this for the uh, futon. Getting our getting the wood all ready. Oh. Cutting everything. Hopefully it goes together right. It's a job. It's a lot of sanding. I thought it was almost done with sanding. Huh? So I thought I was almost done with sanding. Right. <laughs> Building the sides for our futon. We may have to cut these little cross pieces shorter later, but we can't really get a good measurement on them until we get them built, figure out where everything goes. So we're gonna try not to make the same mistake as our bed and make it too big or too small. Because <laughs> we really don't want to do this one twice. It's been a pain.
got a storm coming tonight. Storm was brewing. Yeah. It's a pretty good chance of tornadoes. Don't like it. I got this. Uh-oh. What do you think about that, lady? What you want me to make? Well, our futon is 75, right? Uh-huh. 74 is I think. This is the important part right here. It's 76. Okay. Between it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's all like this is 76. Okay. Let's just pull the actual thing right here. The futon? Yeah. Are you kidding? Uh -huh. Alright. Let's do it. We did look at that. Yeah, I'm right against it over here, so. Yeah. Take it a little smaller. But we do have to be able to get it past the log. Right. We do. So, not a whole lot smaller, maybe. Do we need it smaller? Maybe just this one. The other ones might not, because see, they're going to be in further than this. This is going to clear out here to this big part. Because this is wider than this. Mm -hmm. So those are probably just right. Let's put the boys in there. Figure out where they go. Yeah, that's the right way. Yeah. Yeah. setting up. Right. Okay, so probably the center of the wheel maybe right there. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. That's the center, right? Yeah. And All right. You can just measure the same from the end of that one. Yeah. You can do the same length on that. Mm -hmm. well, anywhere it's as about long nine as, inches as long as it's back behind where the other log is going to be sticking out it'll be all right right yeah so we do need to bring that other log down here Yeah. That one's too 
long. Huh? That log's too long. This one? I think it is. It can't be. Well, I don't think it can be because it's the same length as this one, isn't it? Seventy six and eight. Right. It's awful close. That one's the same, isn't it? All these should be the same. Okay. Real close. No, seventy six and a quarter there. Well, an an inch in there. Okay, so let's lay these down and drill those. Okay. Right? But do you know where the front one where you want it? But this needs to be level with that top of that one real close. Okay. So, here's my pencil. Well, you're going to cut a slot in it, though, right? Mm -hmm. So I can adjust it some that way, can I? Because the slot, the bottom of the slot needs to be equal to that.
always treat a squirrel that fell out of a tree. You get him, Brody? Good job, boy. He was jumping four foot up the tree a minute ago. He was going for a morning walk. It's gonna rain today. Like a 55% chance. Sprinkling just a hair, but it quit up, let up, so I was bringing the boys out for a quick walk. But it's a nice morning, it's only 63 degrees. Like this no, I'm gonna make it this end, like it this end. <laughs> it's raining today, so he's making a mess in our cabin. I am. Plus this thing is kind of heavy, so it's hard to move it. This thing's gonna go in here. I've got a line here where I want it to go. I drilled my hole up there, so I'm gonna go cut this off. Just a hair higher. Right there with the shoulder. And you're gonna, that's where the, it's gonna, the tenon's gonna end. Yeah. So you have to leave on, he's gonna leave on some. Well, that that's actually the shoulder, so the tenon will be up here. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to go do that right now and we'll make sure she fits and we'll go to town and do the rest of them. <laughs> Let me out! <laughs> okay. Just a little bit. Got the bottom of these all in. This one just a little long. I'm gonna have to shorten it up. Try trading them. Whose crazy idea was this anyway? Yours. <laughs> I can't do nothing without this one. Oh. Let's swap this over here. I gotta leave. <laughs> Go fix this one. Too long. Too long. Should take it down a little. Fell on your cornflakes. <laughs> cornflakes? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Goodness. That olive leaf tea we used, right? Yeah. Alrighty. Now for the moment of truth. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to take this apart. The front posts were, we made them extra long till we figured out for sure how long we needed them. So we're about them marked and we're going to cut them off shorter. And I'm going to drill pilot holes like I did on the bed all the way through and then come back and we're going to put those nice plugs back in here after I've put a lot, eight inch lag screw into here. Okay. So you got to do that on the front post too, don't you? Yeah, all, yeah, all these. All of them. All of them. All, all the places where the, the main um, frame goes together, we're going to lag screw. I hope we have enough. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think I only got 12. We might have to use a couple more. Well, we did one thing wrong on this too. Huh? It was my bad. 
when we we saw some we saw some of these online that we liked we like this design so it's not our design we kind of copied it off of some we saw online but the only thing that we didn't notice which is kind of a big deal what what's this we you got a mouse in your pocket <laughs> I think you looked at the same pictures as I did. <laughs> but we didn't notice that our futon mattress does not bend in the middle. The back is taller than the bottom. So this is made to where the bottom, every other slat that we have in here that's laying all over the floor, is going to pull out. So they weren't long enough. So we've ha we're having to do a little modifying Hopefully it'll work. We'll see. If not, well, we may have to just get a different futon mattress. No, I don't think so. All right. I've got them all drilled and I got them all together and they all turned out pretty good. It's gonna work out nice. So I put all those in, just tested it. And now I'm gonna pull that back apart and get my pilot holes drilled and, and the, all the where the lag screws are going. So, I'm going to get that done, and I'll get back with you guys. Go that deep on the other ones? Yeah. And he's drilling out the plug, the plug holes. holes. Plug holes. Well, my deal's two inches. Yeah. So I didn't go two inches. All right. How do you like that? I'm cutting the porches shorter. I mean, the... The porch. <laughs> the porch. <laughs> was just, I just cut the porch made shorter. the porch shorter. The posts shorter. I don't know where I got porch from. All right. Did I leave that down there? I think you did. Hey, Brody. How come you're all dusty? Huh? He said, ah, Daddy blew that on me. How come you're all dusty? Did Daddy blow dust in your eyes again? I didn't see him. I know. That dad. No, I need to hold on to that. That looks like it's together on that one. Yeah, it does. That should suck together with my flight tree. Give it a whack at the bottom. Huh? Give it a whack at the bottom. That's where I was whacking. Huh? That's where I was whacking. Oh. oh, you mean down here? Yeah. I hurt my finger. Just want to lag it. We want to lag it. I'm going to lag that puppy. Okay, lag it. I'm going to lag it. Get my lag screws. Right here. Is this turned where it needs to be? Is this turned? It looks like it is. You know it. Check it, baby. Right. Fat. We're gonna go up just here, like right there. 
I didn't hardly even change it. So that line, let's line up with this line. Did you I like want, it? Did you want these turned to the bump is kind of, that yeah. way? Yeah. yeah. Maybe turn a little, turn that a little bit more. I don't know if you can. This one. Straight. Yeah. But that's right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's go right there. Get out and go that way. says use soap. We're slow learners, but we do learn, right? Yeah. I use soap on those last ones. Man, they just went right in there. Thank you, YouTube people. Yeah, thanks for helping us remember. Sometimes I forget stuff. Yeah, more sometimes. Pretty much all the time. Oh, yeah. Like this. Said I messed up. What you do now? I think I'm gonna hit that leg with this leg. Uh oh. You remember when we planned that out on the bed? slanted a little bit. If that don't work, then I'll put a shorter one. Right. See what happens here. All I can do is tear something up. Glass water on there, it's not like, it's not like water. Mm -hmm. You know, people are gonna better wood for this. Send a stain in here. Gonna look good when she's done. Which 
One thing I can do is always trust her to do it right. <laughs> she can't always trust me though. <laughs> Especially with Sandin. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell them what you're gonna okay. get. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off now. <laughs> I feel so bad. the hole in each one of these boards so they don't split and I'm going to every other board because these are going to slide out so so these are the ones that aren't going to slide out right right I'm just putting a little screw in there and then this this plate I'll screw this plate to the ones that are sliding out and then when they slide out, this will be screwed to the steady ones that's not moving. And that plate will run right into this plate. That's the plan. That's the, huh? <laughs> I'm just putting me a dot for a, this is a pilot hole. So those will go through into the wood. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna just do a dot and take that outside so I don't get metal in here on the floor. Oh yeah. That's a good idea. I come up with them once in a while. I'm stained all this last night. I'm going to oh. just the grain a little bit, so I'm going back over it. And staining it again. Find sandpaper and then staining it again. Yeah, that'd be pretty. Oh, it'll be smooth. We've got one of our metal pieces on. And now we're getting the legs on the front. That front log that slides out. So I'll have that going here in just a minute. Cinder's better at sanding than me. So I'll probably let her do this whole thing. Just as I have more patience. <laughs> Could you hurry? <laughs> you know, this is the little leg that's gonna pull out. I'm just drilling a pilot hole. And he had to countersink the flag screw because the uh, boards are going to be on top of that. It has to be flat. And if you use soap on these, you got to use the Irish spring. <laughs> so it's green? Yes. I know a while ago I was looking at all your holes and I'm like, what is this weird green stuff in here? <laughs> Probably figured out what it was. <laughs> You noticed it was setting up by itself? I did. Uh, it's a good should sign. We the, should we put the pads on? Let's test it. Yeah, we test it and then we need to stain it too so we can get up in there before you screw it all together. Okay. You and your plastic. You and your plastic. Leaning out a little bit. I'm not going to 
hurry thing. So is mine. <laughs> there, how's that? That's better. I haven't got all the board screws down yet. take this down and sand some of the slats because it was just a little bit too tight. We were kind of afraid of that. The slats were too tight. Smug. Let's go in here and see if Cinda's working. Oh, lucky. She's putting the second coat on. Clear, ain't it? Yeah, it's got a little tiny hint of color, but not much. Not much. It just makes it look like the wood does when it's wet. We got all our uh, part done here that pulls out. I can't do that with one hand, so we'll have to wait till Sunday's done. Andy? And we got the shelves. Oh, yeah. Stained. She got the shelf all stained. I got one more, two more shelves to put up there. I gotta cut my little ones right there. One there, and one over there. I'm gonna stain them before I put them up there. Look, that was kind of pain. Right. Taking out the bit. Uh, we know it. I taking out the bit. I did forget one. The only one. I need the back. Hey. Hey. Come up here. is making donuts. He has a whole pile of donuts. Plugs. And then we use the donut holes for plugs. <laughs> I love donut holes. Especially glazed. So we only need 14 of those. <laughs> and we got to sand them all now. Make them pretty. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Almost. Three more. Okay, we got the futon all done. I'm just going to show you how it works. It just slides out like that. Mm -hmm. Nice. We got this nice faux leather mattress and it has springs and everything in it and it's pretty comfortable. Not quite as good as a regular bed, but pretty decent. Anyway, I think it looks really nice. It turned out good. Okay, this is the back of it. 
We got a trunk here too that you can put your extra blankets in and stuff. Anyway, it's a walk around. I think it turned out pretty nice. It works really good. Oh, and we didn't show you the little pegs. He got all the pegs put back in. Make it look all nice and finished off. It's Peggy. <laughs> Peggy. <laughs> Okay, and then to put it back, just kind of stand, it up right stand here. it up a little bit. And this is how, slow down, sir. I want to show them how it works. Slide back up like that. Okay, and show them again pulling it out, how the stoppers work on the metal, oh. in case somebody, yeah. see this metal, metal. It's catches it right there, so it can't pull out too far. It's pretty slick. And I, I gotta put my extra screws in. Right? Yeah, we got more screws, so he's gonna finish that. Ready to do that. But the one thing is, if you build one of these yourselves, don't make the slats too tight like we did, because it's a real pain to yeah. fix them. I had to loosen them up. But... Yeah, you had to take them off a couple times. Couple? <laughs> At least. More than that. <laughs>